Hey, what's going on, everybody? Thank you all for joining me at this time. My name is Shavi Zane, and I'm coming on to bring a message for the chosen. If you find this resonates with you in any way, please be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment below, and let us know how it resonates with your circumstances. So, chosen, I just wanted to talk to you all about that whole dynamic of loving people, but just not liking them. So, a lot of chosen can relate. And if you can, let us know that you can relate so that, you know, others don't feel so bad. A lot of times as a chosen seed, you know, you experience a lot throughout life, but you start off from a very young age, just observing, you know, you observe people, you observe how they move, you observe how they talk, you observe, you know, how they carry themselves. And You've just always been very observant of people and energy, but when you awaken, it becomes that much more amplified. And so while you've always been observant, now you're observing beyond what you see with your natural eyes, you're looking with your spiritual eyes. And so you're really not missing out on anything. And you get to a place where, you know, you realize like, yeah, I love people. You know, you want to see everyone win. You know, you don't have a hate and bone in your body, but the fact of the matter is you get to a place where you love people and you just don't like them. So for some, that means that you, you know, you have a short attention span or you might have a short tolerance or you might want to interact a lot less and that's okay. That's okay. You know, it's because the energy that you're projecting, the dominant energy that you're projecting when it comes to people is love, you know, wanting to help when you can, as long as you're not depleting yourself, you want to see humanity in peace. You want to see, you know, things balanced. You want to see people operating with integrity. And so you have the best intentions at heart. But a lot of times for the chosen, especially the more that you evolve and come into loving yourself and, you know, finding peace within, you just get to a place where you realize like, man, you know, I just don't like people. You know, you might prefer the company of a child before an adult. You might prefer the company of an animal before an adult. You might prefer the company of a butterfly before an adult. And it's simply because depending on who the person is, the energy can be draining. In some instances, it can be depleting if you let it. And so you come to the realization that, you know, the fact of the matter is most people are still carrying traumas, you know, still holding on to a lot of pain. And everybody has gone through traumas. Everybody has gone through painful events, but you'll find that most of the world, most of society carries that energy. Um, and some get so accustomed to using that as their crutch that it becomes their badge of honor. But the fact of the matter is, you know, you see through all of that and it, it becomes that much more important for you to protect your energy. And so you get to a place where it's like, you know, you want to interact, you want to, you know, have decent people in your circle, but you just find that you simply prefer your own company and that's okay. You're not alone out there chosen. And I think that's one of the greatest misconceptions is that, you know, yes, companionship is very, very important. But for the chosen seed, it's only certain types of companions that you can tolerate. Your energy is going to repel companionship with low vibrational toxic people. If, if, if a person is still drawn to very toxic energy and they are entertained by it or, you know, they find that without it, you know, life is too boring, then that's a person who's not healed. And most of you chosen seed out there have been doing the work to heal yourself. So you're not excited to be in the midst of chaos. You're not excited to have 
people around you who are just blatantly disrespectful, obnoxious, you know, egotistical, um, gossiping type of energies. You're just not drawn to that. And so because the world is full of that energy, it can be depleting. Um, and so you just, your main objective becomes like, Hey, what brings me true happiness? What type of friendships do I really want to have? And when you do find those people who are genuine friends or like a genuine companion that you can, you know, bounce ideas off of and laugh with and maintain peace with, like really be your authentic self with, that's when it's like, okay, yes, companionship is necessary for the human being, right? that human having, that spirit having a human experience. The companionship is necessary when you are able to come into contact with those types of individuals. But if most of the people around you are in low vibrational energy, companionship of another human being is not necessary if it's lowering your vibrations. That's not a necessary interaction for survival. Well, if you want to stay in survival mode, then I guess it would be the perfect type of companion to have around you. But when it comes to thriving, really living, really experiencing life from a high vibrational standpoint, you do not need the company of people if they're not in alignment with your highest good. So I think that's one of the greatest misconceptions is that, you know, it's abnormal to be in isolation or to not really want the company of other people. That is not true, especially if you spent most of your life since childhood in the company of unhealthy individuals. And that's the case for most of the chosen. As soon as you come out of the womb, you're, you know, seeing chaotic events, dealing with traumas, dealing with the emotional pain and traumas of maybe your parents or you know, your siblings or your grandparents, your aunts, your uncles, you know, school, you know, everywhere you go, you're dealing with people, but you're dealing with hurt people. And so what do hurt people do? Hurt people, hurt people. And so if you, when you awaken and you say, Hey, okay, I'm going to go into hermit mode. Uh, and you spend, let's just say you end up spending three, four years in hermit mode, like literally, that's nothing if you've been on earth for 50 years and you've been experiencing the energy of lots of people who are full of pain, trauma and drama since you was born. That's that's a very short period of time to be in isolation and, you know, to be away from people. You see what I'm saying? And when you get to that place, it's, it's what's. The most interesting part is that when you are surrounded by those low vibrational people, you are in survival mode because their energy affects your energy. So you are likely in survival mode when you're interacting with those types of people on a regular basis. But when you go into hermit mode and you say, OK, I'm going to take my energy back. I'm going to go within. I'm going to focus on my relationship with the most high, my spiritual team. I'm going to heal that's when suddenly you begin to thrive. So be very careful when they tell you that, you know, it's important, you know, to have companionship and without companionship, you know, it's, it's an unhealthy um, existence. It's far more unhealthy being around people who are wasting your energy, siphoning your energy, energy vampires, causing drama, trauma and pain. That creates illness, that creates stress, that creates depression, anxiety. You see what I'm saying? And so keep in mind that the world that we live in today, a lot of things that we think we know has been fed to us backwards. You know, the powers that were had a major agenda to make you believe particular things so that you would stay on that karmic cycle so that you would never get off. They wanted you to think you know, to put you in this codependent mindset that, OK, well, any company is better than no company. And that is the furthest from the truth. And many of you all have been able to learn that uh, now that you have experienced hermit mode for yourself. So 
Yeah, I just wanted to definitely let you all know that you're not alone out there. Many of the chosen seed, we love people. We just don't like them. And that's okay. So that's my message for you all. If you have anything to add, please be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment below. And I will talk to you all next time.